welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this little tool that you see here in my hand. This is the Battle Steel Carbon Killer. So uh, essentially it's a two piece design and it works to clean your AR-15 bolt carrier group as well as your chamber. So that's a little bit different than certain things. But what we're gonna do next is obviously get down and actually show you how it works. I figure the best way to actually review it is to demo it. So we'll show you how that's done coming up next. The first part of using it, of course, is getting everything disassembled. Now I do have the upper here because we will use that here in just a second, which is kind of cool. Um, a lot of the other tools don't have anything for the upper receiver. This one does. We'll show you that again here in just a second. So this is a BCM uh, OEM rifle. And it's been shot a decent amount, some suppressed, probably about 600 rounds-ish at this point. So not a ton, but enough that it probably needs a cleaning, as you guys can certainly see there from my hands. So um, we have it apart there, and we'll set the upper off to the side for now. So uh, let's get into the actual tool itself. So basically when it comes to you, it comes shipped like this. So that is it. At this point, you can pull it out. And for the majority of this, we're just going to need this particular tool right here. One of the hard areas for folks to clean is going to be the tail here of our bolt. So uh, this one here has kind of a cool design in that it's uh, tool steel. So it's A2 uh, tool steel and it's uh, Rockwell hardened to 50. Um, so it's pretty hard. However, it's not quite as hard as your bolt, which is a good thing. You don't want it to be that way. So um, you can put that in there. And at this point, just start turning and you can kind of see a bunch just bunch of the carbon there just fell off and you can see it falling into my hands there. Um, so just kind of scrape around and if you look at it, you'll see, if my camera will focus on it, that there's still a little bit there. So at that point, what's nice about this, this product is that you can kind of, kind of squeeze it in and kind of rotate it. So uh, basically if you do that and you're basically uh, changing the pressure point of it just a touch and do it like that and just you can hear it just still grinding. So that's really what you want to do. And we're going to get down to where you're starting to show uh, some metal on there. And that's really kind of where you want it to be. Cause you don't want to be, you don't want it to be too tight that it's going to wear your finish off. And we're certainly not there, but you can see how it's focusing in and just getting that carbon off. It's starting to get almost perfectly clean. So again, I'm kind of just putting pressure laterally on it and that's just going to cause it to impact the tail of the bolt at a different place. So that's how that part works. Next part here is for inside of your carrier. And we have uh, this tool here. It's actually quite sharp. Um, I have a few other cleaning tools like this or similar to this rather. And this is definitely the sharpest one, which is nice because what that's gonna do is grind that built up carbon off. Um, so if you put it in there, you go all the way down until you feel resistance and then you start turning. And once again, I would imagine we're going to see some carbon here. And we do. A bunch of it just came out. And um, at this point, if we can, let me see if I have a light around here. I do. I'm kind of seeing there. Hopefully the camera will pick it up that it's actually starting to show the chrome lining inside the carrier there. Um, so if you want to get it even cleaner, you can take a piece of fabric and kind of work it in there. Um, I think you can anyway. <laughs> I've done it before, so hopefully it'll do it here. That one may be just a little bit too big. And work it around like that. So the fabric will really kind of help just wipe it down even more. And you can see the carbon just continues to come off. And now if you look in there, we'll see more of the chrome lining. So just continue to do so um, throughout the process. And if you want to, again, you can sort of put almost like lateral pressure on it, getting the walls there uh, where it's chrome lined. However, you don't really need to do that. Just putting a, your piece of fabric in there. Afterwards, once all that carbon's loosened up, it, it'll wipe right out. The holes here on the end of the tail are for your firing pin. Uh, basically, if you have a lot of carbon built up here on the back side of your firing pin, which honestly we don't at this point, but if you do, basically you're just going to put it in there. And you can see once we get down close, gets really tight. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does, I assure you. Uh, and then just rotate it back and forth to get that carbon out of there. And you guys can see right there, if my camera will focus again, that the carbon there is kind of scraping off and that's what's coming off. So that is the process for doing so. Um, you can do it on either hole there. And you can see there, again, carbon's coming off each time we do it. 
So that is how that process works. Again, if it was even worse, you'd be able to scrape more out of there. It's a little bit hard there to show what it actually looks like inside the chamber due to the camera angle. But if you look in there, it actually looks almost like a melanated chamber um, in that you can't see any of the chrome. But this is a BCM barrel, so it is chrome lined. So we're going to show you how to kind of tackle that and clean that area out a little bit too, which I definitely like. So uh, we take our tool here, set that down for now. And uh, these little slots here, the T slots, go right into here on the end of the cleaner. I believe that is a Delron, is the material it's made out of, and it has the check ring here on the back, which will aid in just a second. So basically what we're gonna do, see if we kind of capture this here on camera, is you're gonna put this in there, line the lugs up just like if it was your bolt, and then at that point, it kind of scrapes in that chamber there, and it starts to get some of the carbon off. So that is how that works. It doesn't lock in there, so your bolt can kind of get stuck. So you just gotta kind of wiggle it out like that. And you can see already, if hopefully the camera will start to pick it up, maybe there's a little bit of chrome starting to show there inside the chamber. So that's cool. But what I've found is if you take a little piece of cloth like this, um, whether they be an actual gun patch or um, cut a piece of t-shirt like we have here and just set that in there this will really help it kind of get in there and start wiping it up so Oops. I think the shirt there might be kind of making it a little bit tough for it to come out that's probably me yeah there we go. Got it free. At this point, you're just going to pull your little piece of cloth out. If we can, maybe, here on camera. And there you go. Now we'll look in the chamber, see if we can get a shot of that. The camera will focus on it. And it should be pretty apparent that it actually is a chrome line chamber this time. So that's definitely a tool there that a lot of uh, other competitors out there don't have is that ability to actually get in there and start scraping away there at the chamber. You guys can probably see it a little bit better there. The chrome is exposed. So that is basically how the tool works. I think this is going to be a pretty short video for me um, because that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a simple tool that works. It has the feature that sets it apart from some of the others out there in the market, which is that ability to get there in the chamber. Um, the biggest competitor, of course, out there on the market is this one. It's the Cat M4 tool. I have a full review of this. I've used this for years. Um, and it, it works for what it is, it works just fine. Um, but the big difference again is that chamber capability. And then also with the battle steel here, um, on the bolt tail with the Cat M4, many of you guys who have used it know you can't really get that close to it in terms of scraping that carbon off. This, the battle steel gets way closer due to the design and the way you can kind of cant it uh, to adjust the contact point and the contact angle that you can get with this scraper versus the Cat M4. So those are kind of the big differences that I see. Um, this one, as well as the Cat M4, this uh, battle steel product is 100% made in the USA. Like I said, it's used, has good materials. It's A2 tool steel. Um, the handle is a Derwin material and uh, it's Rockwell hardened and all that jazz. So it seems to be a very well-made product, a well thought out product. And the price on these is $49, at least as of today, uh, shipped anywhere in the US. I think they do have bulk discounts if you and a buddy or something like that want to pick some up, but that is the price as of today anyway. There will be a link down below for those of you guys looking to pick one up. And uh, that pretty much sums it up. If you guys have any questions about the product, anything else, you can always post down below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. That generally is the best way to get in touch with me because I don't always see the messages here on YouTube anymore. I see most of them, at least I think I do, over on Facebook. So if you want an answer or something like that, that's definitely where to contact me. Thanks as always for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. For those of you that aren't subscribed and found this through a YouTube search or a Google search, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And we'll see you guys in the next video.